Alright y'all. Alright y'all, so today we're gonna be making some Nikki Nikki chicken tacos. And so right um here all we have in this bag is a thinly sliced chicken breast. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pound this out till it's flat. Now um you can either buy these thin sliced or you can get um the whole ones and slice the thing yourself, which would be the cheaper option. Um, these are already thin sliced up, and I'm gonna just pound them out to the flat, kind of get them as circular as I can, also. And then um, I'm just gonna show me doing a couple, and then we're gonna go into the brine uh, and make the brine for these so they can get nice and juicy. But um, yeah, pretty much I got a mallet here. If you don't have a mallet, you can take a rolling pin, you can take a hot sauce drawer, whatever you got to make these flat. Uh, I just took the uh, chicken inside the Ziploc bag. That way I don't make a mess. You don't want uh, the chicken going anywhere. Now, if you got a mallet or anything heavy like I just stated, you don't need to hit that hard. It's going to pound out because if you hit it hard, you might go a little too. You might smash it a little. See how it's already working itself? So you don't want it thick at all. Let's see if you're gonna put a bread crumb on it, which I'm gonna do, but you don't have to, especially if you always got a keto diet or whatever. You don't have to um, bread it. But if you are, you definitely want it thin. That's why I cut it thin and don't keep it thin. Make it thinner. Alright, so that's pretty good for that one. Um not really a perfect shape, uh, but it's gonna work. So um I'm gonna do a couple more of these and then we're gonna come back. All right, y'all, so we back. I found my chicken out. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna just take, cause I wash my hands. So I'm just gonna take and uh, put my chicken pieces. Because I got a thin slice pack and didn't do it myself, I got all kind of different sizes. But we're gonna make it work. And yes, we are. We're gonna have just some mini tacos. Then we have some, some big tacos. We're gonna make it work. So anyway, I'm just putting my slices in here in this bowl. And I'm gonna make a quick little brine. Let it brine for a little bit, get it nice and juicy. So take your uh, onion, chicken, do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add seasonings. Got some, boom, onion powder. Onion powder. Two different essences, like that. No. I'm gonna go about, that's roughly about four, four, three and a half tablespoons. I like the eyeballs. <laughs> I like to kind of go heavy with the seasons when I'm going to brine because I really want to get in there. Then some, uh, that was garlic powder, by the way. And this is time. You got time? I do. <laughs> so, boom. I'm going to go too heavy with ground up, so you definitely get it. Um, yeah, just because, you know what I'm saying, I'm making tacos, I'm going to come with you. I ain't, I ain't got time to shake it out. I can take the cap off. Mm -hmm. Take the cap off and I go in now. Big things. We do big things right here. Just throw something in there. Mm. You really want all that chili flake, chili powder, and um, lime to get in there. And then, you know, you know what it is. Hot sauce, your choice. I'm going with Frank's and I'm going to put a considerable amount. Yeah. I like that much. This is optional, but it's definitely gonna make it juicy. It's just pickles, but I ain't gonna put the, I'm gonna put the pickle juice in there. It's optional, but you know what I'm saying? That's thick, about that much right there. Probably a half cup. And then you're gonna add your buttermilk. Go a little bit. I'm gonna work everything, and then I'm gonna add more until it make sure it's covered. Everything's covered. I guess I can get my hands dirty again. I didn't want to, but yeah. 
gonna get that nice flavor. Nice flavor. So work, 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 work. So you can't let this marinate over overnight. And let it marinate at least 30 minutes. But you know what I'm saying? You can let it marinate overnight and that give you the extreme juiciness and extreme flavor. So I don't need to really need to add any more buttermilk in there because it's already covered. So we're gonna just sit this in the refrigerator until we're ready for it. And um, then we'll be back. All right, y'all, so next we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a pico de gallo, de gallo de, de eat. So that's what we're gonna do. So right, we're gonna start off with some Roman tomatoes here. I'm gonna use about four. And so you can, what I'll do is chop off the tops, then split them down the middle there, and then just, you can't cut out the whole middle section, but I'm just gonna get rid of the seeds. Just because I don't want my pico too watery. Tomatoes are already gonna put me in a lot of water once you get the salt and the, and then the wish does it. You know what I'm saying. So, do that for all five. Alright guys, so after you're done with your, uh, your uh, slicing your tomatoes, you're going to just uh, uh, cut half an uh, onion. You can use whatever onion you like, uh, yellow onion, but typically on the pico I use uh, red onion. So I'm just going to use half of it. So I'm just going to there. All right, y'all, so we got the onions and the tomatoes chopped up. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in the bowl. Yeah, so um, once you got uh, that, I just moved that off to the side into the bowl. And then you're gonna uh, add serrano pepper. You can add jalapeno if you want. Jalapeno is a little bit less hot. Um, you go ahead and remove the seeds here. I'm gonna just add, um, I'm gonna add one serrano with the seeds. Um, this is pretty much the authentic they use. Uh, basically, you use serrano and the pico, not jalapeno for the most part, but you can use jalapeno. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and gonna get this a small dice. Just do one in general. Now, if you're somebody who likes a lot of heat, you got a couple. Right now, do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Just let me do my thing. No. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not that good at night, so. I mean, I, I, y'all, y'all hype me up and make me think I'm professional, but I'm telling you right now, I'm as much of my own cook as they come, so you know, don't hold me to professional standards, because <coughs> don't know what I'm doing. Need a sharp knife. I'm gonna use a good knife, but I'm just trying to get there. Alright, so take that like me. Alright, bowl right here. Come on over the bowl, camera girl. Throw that in there. Let me get the rest up on there. Throw that in there. Alright. So that's that. The last thing to do is see line throw. Much or as little as you like. I am. I like cilantro, but it's gonna be overpowering. You can use the stems, but I'm not. Like I said, um, uh, I'm not that much of a cilantro fan to where I want all the stems to be in there. But uh, yeah, like I said, not that great with a knife. Just trying to get there. I do not have very nice skills. Just trying to take, not to take my fingers off. So do not copy me if you are new in the kitchen. Please look up my skill safety or knife safety, whatever you gotta watch. And not to take your fingers off because I've been just doing stuff and have cut myself several times. 
Good enough. <laughs> time because you can you can uh you can add more but you can't take away so i just do a little, a little hit of salt and i'm gonna add the lime juice but first this is what makes all the difference in the pico to me like not everybody uses this um but i'm telling you it'll give it a different flavor and it, 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 it's amazing. so i'll take about a i'm gonna say roughly a teaspoon and a half it's coming out kind of right so yeah. Get my Queen Tran on. <laughs> Be free balling. All right, so that's that. Now I'm gonna um, juice my limes in there, and then we're gonna mix it up. All right, so now we're just gonna go in here, put the juice of about three or four limes. The lime and salt really sets it off at the end of the day. The acid and the salt is really what gives everything in the mm-hmm. That's good. Told you. The cumin sets it off. It's spicy too. Uh -uh. <clears throat> it ain't too spicy, but it's spicy. It's got a kick. And one serrano was enough. Alright guys, so I'm right, gonna get started on the guacamole. So what first I'm gonna do is make like a little pre, uh, small puree. I'm just gonna start off with uh, one serrano. In that joker like that. Then I'm gonna take the juice of two or three limes, just depending on how much comes out of it. Cilantro. Got a whole lot. So we're gonna go ahead. I'll puree the uh, the cilantro, the uh, lime juice, and the serrano pepper with a little bit of salt. And now, so we're gonna um, we're gonna go with our avocados. I'm gonna take my <laughs> forty. You just gotta, you know, work them. Make sure you got some ripe ones, because otherwise you ain't gonna be able to mash. These should be pretty ripe. Cut it, you know, work your knife around the side, cut it up and like so. In the street. This is, be careful with the knife though, but kind of whack right there in the middle. 
and then push it to get that core out of there. And then once you got that down, hold on, you get you a spoon, and run it on the, the edge of the, you know, the counter. And you can just scoop it out. And just boom. Hopefully, yeah, she's pretty ripe. She's, she's ripe enough. You can see it. Alright. I can see it around the edge. Got me. All right, so. Four more times, and then we come back. All right, y'all, so uh, these are my avocados I got in there. I'm gonna take some of that puree mixture. Just like this, not all of it. Don't dump all of it. Just some of it. You might not need all of it. Just some of it. And I'm just gonna take a mash of all of it. I didn't work out too well. Uh, these are not the super ripe avocados. Otherwise, you could take some of like a, uh, what is it called? What I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. A whisk. And mash it up. I do wish these were a little more right, but they're right there. So yeah. Let's get that working now like this. The reason why I didn't put these in the food processor because I don't necessarily want it perfectly smooth. to work in a minute. The flick of the wrist is better than the flick of the, the twist of the blade. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Give me a little chunky. You know I want to be a little chunky. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah, get right in there. Oh, yeah, so... That's good enough for now. I'm gonna mash it up a little bit more. So once you do that, uh, I'm gonna chop some uh, onions and uh, some tomato, uh, Roma tomato, probably about two or three Romas, and uh, probably two Roma tomatoes, and another uh, quarter or half of onion. I don't, I don't want two onion. I think I'm probably gonna do a quarter of an onion, two Roma tomatoes. I'm gonna add that to this mix. Then we gonna, um, then we gonna, uh, we gonna test it out, see how it tastes. Then probably add a little bit more salt and. Uh, so just give me a moment and we'll come back with the tomatoes now. We back. All right, so we back. So uh, guys, right here, uh, you have a Roma tomato. Really, it's gonna be like one and a half. One Roma is what I ended up using. And I know I said a quarter of the onion, but if it was smaller onion, probably would've been a quarter, but I really used less than a quarter because it was just too much for what I had in here. Um, now I'm just gonna use like a touch of oregano. Not too, too much. Probably about a tablespoon and a half. Now. Time to get on the chain game. I'm gonna do my spoon. Anyway. 
how that tastes. Wonderful. <laughs> Boom. That's the guacamole. And when we're done, we're about to make our sauce again. We're going to finally make our taco. We're going to get the eating goods. All right, guys. Well, right now, we're going to make our taco sauce. We're going to start by adding cup and a half H2O, fat-free water. You know what I'm saying? You can get it out of your sink. You can get it, you can get it out of your faucet. Uh, or you can get out of jug. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you do, you get the water. Recommend don't get it out of your dog's dish. Ew. Yeah. Then you're gonna add, then you're gonna add about a teaspoon cornstarch in that thing. And you're just gonna, you're gonna turn your pot on medium heat. So you just wanna dissolve that in the Just gonna make sure your taco sauce is kinda thick. Thick, 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 thick. Thick, 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 thick. your taco sauce is thick. You wanna dissolve that in there with thick. I recommend whisking while your pot comes up to temperature because that cornstarch will settle out to the bottom. You know, so whisk your hand. I'm talking about. Anyway. Mm. Mm. Once your water comes up to temperature, mm -hmm. it is starting to get pretty hot pretty quick. So since the water is already heating up, I'm going to go ahead and add a six ounce can of tomato paste to this mixture right now. You know what I'm saying? So I can keep on whisking. You definitely want to make sure you dissolve the cornstarch in the water first. That's like, because if you don't, it could clump up with the other ingredients and you don't want that. The tomato paste is kind of... You know, if you gotta put the spoon in there to get it to come off, give it a little help. Cause this is really sticky. And you wanna get about everything you can in the pan. <laughs> come home late. It seems you barely beat the sun. Seven <laughs> my shoulder. You gotta sing it like that. Sing the top of my shoulder part. Uh uh. You gotta do it. I don't know how to go really. You do know how you gotta, <laughs> you gotta sing it a certain way. You gotta sound like Nicky. I mean, not. <clears throat> you gotta sound like Get Off My Shoulder, Young African American Man. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch it. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so I'm just whisking that way. My uh, cornstarch don't settle out. Now I got something else in there. You see, that's already, you know. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, so from here. Oh, she's bubbling a little too much. I'm trying to heat down. <laughs> you don't want your pot too high. Oh, no. I had to switch eyes. I had to hide the eye up too high, y'all. Y'all don't want it on high. Medium. Uh, maybe even a medium low, you know what I'm saying? You just want it to get, you want it to heat up, but you don't want it to boil too much, you know what I'm saying? And uh, now you want to put about a tablespoon and a half of white vinegar. White vinegar. It's important. Because I don't think too many Mexicans use uh, apple cider vinegar in their cooking. I think it's mostly white. So about a tablespoon, which is about that and a half. Like when you go to the bathroom uh -uh. and you got a little bit more left? No! <laughs> Alright, so you eat. <laughs> then you're gonna add two teaspoons of chili powder, which is, you know. confidence in my eyeball. Okay. <laughs> that, that chili powder, what it's gonna do, the chili powder is just gonna get this taco sauce that yeah make it seem like it's really like rounded out like it's been cooking for a little while. Really gonna, you know, take the bite off the tomato paste. That's what that's gonna do for it. 
And you're gonna go in with about a teaspoon or a tablespoon of salt. It depends on what you like, you know what I'm saying? Some people like things a little bit more salty. I, 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 I'm in between. Um, it ain't too salty, but I gotta have the salt. Salt wakes things up, salt, salt is flavor. Salt, there's no, there's no, um, there's no uh, flavor without the salt. You gotta have, it. I mean, some people I know you have, don't eat salt for different reasons, but you know, it's, it's very much so needed. There's no need in using other seasonings if you're not gonna have the salt to wake them up. Amen, amen. So I'm gonna go about two teaspoons, I'd say, of salt for now, and I'll taste it later. And you know, like I said, you can add, hey, take it away. Take it away. And then you're gonna add a little cayenne. See, now this way you wanna be careful. You use about, about a teaspoon. Because cayenne, boy, a little bit goes a long way now, people. You know, it's it tricky. It make you think you, it's, you know, oh, it's not that. You need a little bit more, but nah. You can add a little bit more if you need it, but be careful. Right, so that's about what I'm going to use for that. This taco sauce. Right. I ain't trying to make the fire sauce, you know, taco <laughs> Mojito, add mojito, red pepper flakes, add some, uh, you got Mexican chili powder, which is like, you know, the uh, dried chilies, like, or they got all intro chili powder, you can use those. Yeah. I'm using my hot plate today, y'all, y'all, this thing. I mean, I ain't no two. That's right after one. Go on the way up the side. Calm down. <laughs> All right, so then we're just gonna go with about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder both. So this is my garlic powder. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Need my own yarn. I'm turning this off. <laughs> So, <clears throat> taste too much like tomato for me. Um, needs a touch more salt. I'm just adding things based off of what I just tasted right there. A little bit more chili powder. Remember I said it was to take that bite off. Tad more vinegar. I think the heat is decent where it's at. And uh, time on. I think one ingredient that I didn't have on the list that I think I'm gonna add in. Hey, Kool-Aid. No Kool-Aid. Come here. Just a bit, just a little bit. Just because I think I want that flavor. Oh yeah, taste that boot. Taste that boot. Mm -mm. Get you a little, not too much. Blow that, blow that. So you don't burn it too. There you go. Good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Ooh! Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. I can, I can. Mm. No. 
I can turn that into a soup. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that's, the, that's it for the taco sauce. I'm gonna put that in a jar. Then we're gonna finally uh, get our chicken fried up and then we're gonna get this thing gone. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, so it's our buttermilk brine chicken. So what I'm just gonna do is just take it out, y'all. You know, the buttermilk, y'all. What you typical goes, y'all. Like, y'all. We gonna do this, y'all. Yes, y'all. But, uh, I'm gonna take it out on these paper towels because I'm gonna dry it. I ain't gonna rinse it off. But I'm gonna pat it dry. So I'm gonna start out with, uh, just like this. Those pieces, jungle, I'm gonna fold the more pepper curve. I'm gonna prepare like this. I'm gonna make some hot, but I'm just gonna go across it. And just pat it dry like that. I don't want all that excess buttermilk in here, but I don't want to ranch it either. It's ranching it too much. And I still want those seasonings to stick on there without me. So I'm gonna dry the rest of the other few pieces and we're gonna come back. All right, y'all. So I'm just making a, uh, my wet mixture for when I bread my chickens. And uh, these two for you. You know how to do that, man? You do a couple, I don't know how much you got. And the only thing I'm gonna put in there is um is uh eggs and hot sauce. This eat. Eggs and hot sauce. all-purpose route. And then here, same bowl. This is the Mexican seasoning. You can use whatever you want. You can use a combination of cumin, chili powder, um, a couple other things, uh, um, peppers, and um, whatever combination you want to use the seasonings or you can just do this I got a bleeding or you don't have to you just add more flavor so I'm adding a lot because it doesn't have a lot of salt in it and I really want that to come through because but the thing is I'm not gonna wet batter at first so this is only it's gonna be a real light coating so that's why I added so much because I definitely wanted to come through it's gonna be a real light coating because it's going in there first These are seasoned breadcrumbs. You can have unseasoned breadcrumbs and season it yourself. This is just regular breadcrumbs, not panko. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do is take one of my little cutlets that I pounded out. Bake plain white flour like that. Now I said this is because of the uh, pack of meat I bought. This is all different sizes. I'm gonna make it work. I could have been technical and cut them all in this nice little shape so I can make perfect tacos, but we're gonna have a taco either way go. So that's why I didn't want to um, you to rinse your chicken after the brine because if you keep some of that seasoning, also it helps 
the flowers take a little bit more, but it's still light coating right here. From there, you're gonna go directly into your egg wash. And from there, you're gonna shake off the excess. And then from there, over into the brick crown. So you're gonna repeat that until you got them all done. And then when we come back, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to make these into the shape of some taco shells, hopefully. <laughs> if not, we're gonna have tostadas. Mm -mm. Naked chicken tostadas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what I did was, Miss Eastman, the sponsor of this video, had a nice taco shaper. I don't have that, you know. So shout out to Miss Eastman for that nice contraption you had. But unfortunately, I had to, I had to do what I had to do, so I took some foil. And I folded it, man, the teepee. And I'm just gonna lay this bad boy right here. And yeah, right there. And then I'm gonna I'm I'm let it stand up in the basket in the deep fry. And I'm gonna clamp it with the tongs like this and hold it. But I'm gonna let you see the final product though, for sure, for sure. All right, y'all, we back. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny here. We are hashtag. 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 hashtag, hashtag, hashtag the Cannons. CCTV. We are. Alright guys, welcome back to our eating show. Shut up. Sorry guys, I'm sweating. Ah! Just a little dab. Uh-uh. A little dab of these. <laughs> anyway guys, um, welcome back to our eating show again. And um, today guys, we're back with another move on. Today we'll be having naked chicken tacos. Got up. We I, I tried. Maybe. I tried. This video was sponsored by Angela East TV. Shout out to you, Angela East. She, this is actually um, her recipe that I kind of like tweaked, but she did it. She she had her, her uh, tacos look perfect. Um, mine were not so perfect, but you know what I'm saying? Um, I tried my best. Um, I actually made, um, uh, I have some homemade taco sauce, uh, guacamole, and our pico de gallo today is made. I didn't make the cheese because I'm not a cheese maker. Mm. I didn't even grate it off the block. <laughs> I, I skimped on that. And I, of course, I didn't go to lettuce, but y'all know that. So um, before we eat, then go hit you with a couple things. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and after hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload and give me a thumbs up. Like it. That's right, guys. Hit that button and hit that <laughs> bell. Yeah. Become a member of my family, guys. Remember, uh, hashtag grow, baby grow. Hashtag the cannons are growing, guys. We're moving more subscribers. We're almost at 16 and a half thousand. Thousand of you guys. So if you've been here before, welcome back if you're new here welcome welcome to the family all right guys and that's enough of that it's time to pray and it's time to eat <laughs> father god in the name of jesus we ask that you bless this food lord let it be nourished to our bodies and bless those who are less fortunate in these things we ask your name amen amen all right guys so i'm gonna start out with the best ones i think this right here is okay and it's actually folded you know what i'm saying <laughs> And um, that's what we're going to do. And I think that one and that one are good too, Daniel. Let me take this one. So, the other ones are going to be more like tostadas. Mm. Good flavor. I think I messed up. You can eat in pieces. Because the breading was probably a little thicker. I probably could have pounded the big ones out. Probably even cut them in half a little bit more. But, it's good right there. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, so, of course, a regular taco. You got a tortilla shell. And you put your meat. And veggies, but your meat is on the outside here, so you just I gotta put his veggies on this. So I think I'm gonna start with um, let, what you gonna start with? Mm, I guess I'll go in with cheese. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna start with lettuce. This lettuce is 
probably could have cut it a little smaller. And then, so, it's probably going to be a little bit stuffed too, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I have some spoons here for the, uh, oh, sorry. For, sorry. You're fine. Get a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I'm going to go with the cheese after the lettuce. Then I'm going to go... Then I'm going to go, wait, wait, wait. Get a little guac. Mm -hmm. I got more than a little bit. I did too. <laughs> got to spread it and then I'm going to top it off with my freshness. That pickle. It's going to be messy, y'all. It sure is. It's going to be messy, so don't be, don't be talking. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, so much mess. <laughs> you know. You ain't perfect. No, I'm playing. I ain't, uh -uh. I ain't doing that. That's too much. I know somebody who would do it, though. <laughs> <laughs> that is too much. So, homemade taco sauce chick. You need sour cream? Yep, and then I'm finished. All right, and then me too. And then we're going to get in this thing. This naked taco taco. This is a lot because this N E K K I. This joker is already look. <laughs> All right. It's already trying to spill over. Dang, it's through. It's already oh, oh y'all. This is about to be messy. Ah! My topping's already leaving me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did too much. Mm. But the, ooh, it's already so good. Mm -hmm. This is the bread. Ah, I can't. Let me see y'all. And get a good bite. You gonna have to come off. Mm. You just gonna have to come off. This is really good. Mm -hmm. It is. The freshness. Mm -hmm. I used to hear that when I was younger. That's how cream on your mouth, baby. Popular. Mm -hmm. I used to hear that when I was younger. Oh, fresh this, fresh that makes so much. But and it, I'd be like, load me up mm -hmm. with all the bad stuff that make it heavy. But mm -hmm. the freshness does make the difference. Mm -hmm. The fact that this stuff was just made, the guacamole and the pico. Mm. Mm. I tried to fold it approach. You loosed it and let it go. I gotta go more. Mm. This is delicious though. Mm-hmm. If it don't look good, we just know it is. Just know. Mm -hmm. So I make me a little boat, like a smaller piece, and I'm gonna take some of the tops like this, and make a little, a little boat. Some of my follow the soldiers down here, mm -hmm. and I'm yeah, this is just work better a little boat. Mm. That chicken is really juicy. Yeah. Good. Imagine if I meant if I uh, burned it all oh, night. night. <laughs> I already know how breast meat is. Mm Maybe I shouldn't put the lettuce on first. I think that's what <laughs> caused everything to slip. Maybe if I go with the guacamole first, like a paste. Then yeah, I stick the lettuce on there like that. Nah, right, let's we'll see you. Pico ain't too hot, is it? No, 
<laughs> I'm good. You know how to open my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> open my mouth, say something. <laughs> yeah. All this being made from here fresh just makes the difference. It makes you want to do stuff more homemade and store bought. You pay more for it mm -hmm. in the store anyway. Like already together. I guess that's the price of convenience, huh? It is. Mm -hmm. And the more they do to it, the more you pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get. All right, for example, when we're talking about the um the chicken breast, when I told them I'm, I bought thin cut. Oh yeah. And I said it's cheaper to buy the regular big pack, and cut and thin slice it yourself. Mhm. Mm because to be honest, the small thin packs uh, that I got were only equal up to probably about three of those breasts in that pack. Oh really? In the big pack, yeah. Mm. And that was almost the same price as the big pack. It was eight dollars. But the, and that's what I'm saying because they're gonna try to say the more they do to it, the more they charge. Okay, they um they thin sliced it and ran through that's let that's more labor. Mm -hmm. Don't make no sense. They're charging you for that labor. The more they do this stuff, that's more employees that I pay. Mm -hmm. That's finally way to factor out this cost and the meat and stuff like that. There's a difference between. If you get the breath, it's just ready. And they eat, they already trimmed all the fat off. That's gonna cost more too. Mm -hmm. and they got the ones that everything else. It's got those little, little giblet pieces on there. And they haven't trimmed them. So. Every little piece you do, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Think about it. If, even if you go over to the uh, bakery, fresh bakery. Mm hmm. If the bread is sliced, you're going to pay more for it sliced than you is the whole loaf. That is true. A one that ain't sliced be like a dog. The mm -hmm. other be out of two or three. Mm -hmm. I don't like to work for my water. And I had to untighten it. I give this two thumbs up. <laughs> All right, David Chappelle. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, have you seen the post about this girl that went to um, All Star Weekend in Atlanta and she had a GoFundMe so she could get back home? Mm -mm. For $1,300. Girl, where are you going? Wait, she had a broke company before she left? No, it was so she could get back home. So she started it once the weekend was over. That's how much she put the, uh... Yes, where are you going? <laughs> she trying to fly back home? Look, something. <laughs> fly to Kuwait. She ain't flying nowhere in the United States. Wow, people do anything. Right, and but then, what did what did the GoFundMe say? Did it have like um? Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> did it have? I need to get back home because I mean people. Yes, it had. I need to get back home. People willingly donate to that stuff. So if you do it, you just the dummy that did it. Cause it said it said I <laughs> I need help getting back home. I'm stuck in ATL. You gonna be stuck thirteen hundred dollars. And it said eight eight hundred and ninety nine was raised. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna use me and abuse me. I'm just like, did you put your own eight ninety nine up there to make people think that you? <laughs> you ain't gonna use and abuse me. <laughs> it said in the description, I went to Atlanta for All Star Weekend for five hundred dollars. <laughs> Only booked the one way because I was waiting on my unemployment to pay my way back. But they baited. I need 
help survive and make it back home to New York. Please, anything will help. Baby, if you didn't have the money before. Gotta turn up. I was always here. <laughs> you shouldn't have went. I ain't got no job, but you trying to go to Ulster. <laughs> I ain't got no money. Okay. That's a lesson I learned a long time ago. You ain't got no money to go nowhere and enjoy yourself. You don't need to go. <laughs> but I ain't never want to be that friend. <laughs> Look at the All-Star on TV. Right. Be an All-Star. Speaking of that, them videos I done seen gave me anxiety. Oh, like 500 people in a building. No mask. Close. <laughs> we people don't care, boy. It's a new breed of people we eat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Y'all have to bear with me. This is my bang. It's some serious. Mm -hmm. Got me a sparkling ice right here. Watermelon, mm. strawberry watermelon. I never had this one before. I'm excited. Strawberry watermelon. So, AJ, you better help that girl get back home. Mm. <laughs> That's foolish. Very. And the fact that people be so willing to share their foolery. Mm -hmm. What you did. She, was, she told everything. All right. So, that makes somebody less inclined to help you because the fact that you was so dumb. <laughs> I, I'm bad food, but I'm mm -hmm. sitting over here trying to eat and move. Because. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish this last one and I'm free. What's your favorite part about, uh, what's your favorite part about the meal today? The everything. <laughs> Everything's just so good and fresh. I'm gonna just break you open sometime. Tell you one thing. I could sit in front of the TV and eat a bowl of this guacamole as if I should. <laughs> What's your favorite? I like you everything. Mm hmm The chicken's juicy, tender. The pico and the guacamole, the sauces, everything working together. I cannot choose. <laughs> it tastes great together. I'm trying to finish this little piece, but I don't know. <laughs> don't hurt yourself. I know. Just leave it there. I'll leave it there. Also, in other news, <laughs> there was a lady who had her children in Catholic school, and she has an OnlyFans. And they put the kids out. I still don't understand that. I don't know. I don't agree with that. Y'all let me know your thoughts, but I don't agree with that. And really, I think they put the kids out of school because the parents, other parents were complaining. Because what had happened was that the athletic director was subscribed to her OnlyFans. <laughs> and the word got out. And the other moms or dads or whoever were saying that that was, you know, not fit for a Catholic school and blah, blah, blah. The lady don't work there. Do the lady work there? Just imagine what some of the other parents are doing. Exactly. But the kicker is. She ain't even being freaky freaky on the fans. She's just putting mm -hmm. up like bikini photos. Mm -hmm. And that's none of their business, for one. Those kids ain't got nothing to do with what their mom does. I mean, I think that was just the craziest thing ever. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. There's more to that story that we don't know. Right. There's got to be. But it just doesn't make sense to me. Because. And if it's something I'm paying for and you put my kids out, are we going to have a problem? Right. Because I'm wondering. I don't really know how that works. And they said. But I wonder, do you pay for like a school year or like a semester and then, you I'm know. I'm not sure. I'm not either. My cousin were in private schools that him, but I don't remember. I never knew how it worked. But, um. They said she made up to $150,000 a month <laughs> for candy photos. Now, check this out. This is where <coughs> this is where I say something we don't know part of the story. Right. Because one thing I know about private schools is they love the money and they love their donations. <laughs> and as much money as she was making a month. I'm pretty sure she they they would have been in them pockets, mm -hmm. if anything. Especially knowing that figure. And she had two kids there. Especially knowing the figure, how much they... That's why I say somebody has done something. And I think they were trying to get rid of the kids, uh, detach themselves from that whole right. situation. Because there's no way that I can see them letting that, that money go. Crazy. $150,000 a month. Mm -mm. Uh, it, that equates to a million dollars a year, unless I'm crazy. Hey, man, I'm gonna sell my toe up there, son. <laughs> this is my big toe. I mean, <laughs> people here only fans and go, ooh. Yeah. Like, well, some but, people aren't up there but being. You some know, people don't have anything sexual up right. there. It's just a private subscription. You can't see anything unless you're subscribed, right. and so. You'd be, you'd be surprised at what some people do. Shoot, we can get an OnlyFans. <laughs> it sounds crazy, mm -hmm. but we can get an OnlyFans. If people like that content enough, we can get an OnlyFans and do private videos, like exclusive content, mm -hmm. vlogs, or exclusive mug bonds. And the only way you can see them is if you subscribe to the OnlyFans. That's what OnlyFans is. I mean, it, it's now, now. It's just some people There is an taken. unlimited amount of, uh, mm -hmm. and they don't have any discretion. I don't think they, you know, they don't, they don't have any uh, mm. policies on what you can, um, you know, any restrictions. But, you know, not everybody is a freak leak on only for OnlyFans. Right. It's just what it is, OnlyFans. There's one little girl that was younger than me. She was oh. friends with me on Instagram, and she over here putting previews. I said, Ah, you gotta <laughs> go. <laughs> it's a butt on my Instagram. <laughs> a booty. Y'all, AJ used to have butts on his Instagram, and I'd be like, if you don't get these butts off of here. What you talking about? You did at one point have butts on your Instagram when we was first together. You gotta explain that, because people don't know what you mean by butts. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. What do you mean they don't know what I mean? Motless. Motla butt. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like my Instagram. I used to follow a lot of IG models. Oh, Motler butt. I used to follow a lot of IG models and stuff. You know what I'm saying? These Motler butts got to go. And so, then, <laughs> then sometimes I would be on Instagram. Now, granted, I was trying to unfollow them, especially once we got serious. <laughs> but I followed a lot of pages. <laughs> them Motler butts. And every butt. now and then, something would come up on my screen. And then I'd be like, where's that uh, butt? Motler butt. Got to go. Go ahead. Do what you gotta do. Get her out of here. I'm an African American male. Okay, well, Motler butts are done. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the only Motler butt you get to see. Anyway. You finishing. And I can't eat a mother. How are two dog on eager? <laughs> two dog on eager. <sighs> Talk about butts on IG. Cause he did have motler butt. <laughs> I know what that is. They knew what that butt was <laughs> when I said he had butts on Instagram. That is that is plain. You know, that is straight. Everybody don't butt. talk like you and think like you. 
Y'all go ahead. Butts on Instagram is what he had. His timeline had butts on it. Okay. Is that better? What's a uh, booty emoji? What emoji can they put for a butt? Ain't there a bikini up there? That's whack. Well, I don't know. What's... What, the peach? No, that's something else. What? <laughs> <laughs> don't put that, please. Don't put the peach. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know butt emoji. I'm going to type butt in the emoji. No, it don't come up. It's just like something is used as a representation. I thought it was the peach was the butt. It's the peach of butt. <laughs> Croissant came up. <laughs> Let's look up butt emoji. <laughs> It, it, I told you that represents that. Oh, yeah, it is a bitch. Well, what is the other one? I don't want to touch it. Might be a cherry. I don't even know what to put in here to to bring it up. Edge. Ah! <laughs> Get it. You can get my phone a virus. Anyway, well, put a peach emoji. If you knew exactly what Daniel was talking about when she said it, don't lie. Because you probably didn't. You like, but on, on Instagram. Instagram. No. You can get my phone a virus. Got me looking up stuff. Coronavirus? Stop. <laughs> All right, y'all. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you guys for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. Guys, remember, subscribe if you haven't already. Before you leave the channel, guys, please do it. Like this video, drop a comment down below because we love to interact with you in the comment section. As you are our family, guys, remember to share this video. Share it with everybody, 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 and everybody. <sighs> because Jack is caring, so care about us. Care, care about, about us. us. Love each and every one of you guys. Can it be anything else? Nope. Take us out. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.